How's it going everyone? Welcome to the Horticulture Learning Center here at Strawberry Bank Museum. Now amongst many learning opportunities that we feature through our Horticulture Learning Center, including our seed bank, uh, programs on distillation, amongst others, we'd like to feature today a little craft that you can do at home to get prepared for holiday decorations. One thing that we start with here at Strawberry Bank to get ready for our holiday event coming up, Candlelight Stroll, which is a fantastic event, is our holiday picks. Now holiday picks are little pieces of wood allowing you to bundle different flowers and foliage around them, allowing you to incorporate those picks into wreaths and roping, swags and mantle pieces, and often ornaments as well. Let's get into this simple process that you can do at home, getting things ready for holiday decor. Let's get into it. Here we have zinnia and some silica gel. Now zinnias are absolutely beautiful during season and step by step harvesting them a little bit early before they start going past will develop a really awesome ingredient for picks and posies and wreaths and swags and all sorts of things. Delicate flowers like this after the drying process, you wanna to try to keep them as dry as possible. So often these are for indoor arrangements, maybe on your mantles or maybe above your fireplace for a wreath. Let's check it out very carefully. We bring it out of the silica gel Little, little shake and check that out. All right, you can do all sorts of different types of flowers in silica gel. Just remember to submerge all those delicate parts. Here we have another sample. A little, little shake. Echinacea, absolutely gorgeous. This is Echinacea purpurea. Now, for making a holiday pick, you only need a few supplies. Of course, you'll need a few flowers. These are actually dried flowers preserved mostly in silica gel, if not hung upside down for a few weeks in a cool, dry, dark spot. So materials are essential, certainly. You can use fresh materials or preserved dry materials, as you see on the left here. A pair of pruners, these are your wooden picks. Sometimes they're large, sometimes small. You can actually buy them in different sizes and sometimes they'll actually have wire already attached to them. On the very right, last but not least, we do have some wire to attach foliage and certain things to the picks, but I prefer floral tape. A lot easier on the hands, very easy to use, and that's the method that I'll display coming up. So let's get into this process, very simple, allowing you to get ready for holiday decor. All right, step by step, here we go. Now these are very large. So when you're creating large bundles of these picks, you certainly want to use something that will be long enough, rugged enough for those larger bundles. If you're creating small bundles on these picks, I usually will kind of cut these in half or certainly source those smaller picks for really intricate designs, okay? Now, because this stuff is a little bit bulky and I have, you know, at least five pieces here, I'm going to utilize this big pick, most of it, but I'm certainly going to cut out any excess of this large pick. You notice on one end is a point. You never want to remove that because that allows you to stick into roping easily in other locations. So sometimes when you don't have a point at the end, it'll actually stop when you're trying to stick this within the core. Okay, just keep that in mind. All right, so I'm gonna take my pick and I'm gonna basically start designing a little posy bundle, okay? So before you even use the pick, you're basically creating this in your hand, okay? And then the very end, I'll show you how to attach. Keep in mind, sometimes you wanna orient things taller or lower, okay? Because this is large, I am gonna to try to float some of this so this large zinnia doesn't actually cover up this awesome status color, which is this pink 
and yellow, okay? Just be creative with the process. Nothing is perfect. We're all different in creating these little posies on our own. I like a bit of diversity when it comes to these types of picks. So I like putting in various things inside along with things that might be a little taller than others. So they kind of give you that floating aspect as we see with the globe amaranth on the left here. See how that floats nicely. So I've made a little posy, a little flower arrangement within my hand, and now I'm ready to attach to the pick, okay? Now again, rugged picks, big picks for larger bundles, okay? As you see, you lay that in parallel to the pick, okay? And excess wood or excess foliage, if you're utilizing foliage, can certainly be trimmed out at the very end. But first, we really want to attach this bundle in a nice sturdy way against this green pick, okay? Now we're gonna use the floral tape to do that, okay? In a very simple process of basically starting at the top and working your way down with the floral tape. If people prefer wire, tying wire and attaching it onto the stem, you can certainly do that as well, but I do prefer floral tape. So let's get into that simple process. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna keep my hands on my little bundle and remove just one piece of tape. So a little piece goes a long way. Again, I'm gonna start at the top of this, okay? And floral tape is a lot like plumber's tape, all right? Where you basically put a little bit pressure as you twist, and you wanna move down as you twist, okay? Nice and sturdy, okay? Twist, twist, twist. If you have a little bit of excess tape, you can start going back up again. Okay, as you see, step by step, we're developing a nice and sturdy structure of those floral ingredients right up against that green pick. Okay, now you can see some excess wood coming out the bottom of the tape. Okay, you can actually kind of trim or pull that out. Okay, now if you keep that excess on, as you try to push this into, let's say, a wreath back with evergreens or roping, uh, that excess will stop that pick, okay? So just consider the physics of that. We're picking into something, and if there's too much wood here, it'll actually stop, and you won't be able to actually push it in to decor, okay? And there you have it. One amazing pick, utilizing a little bit of status, Zinnia, Globe Amaranth, and that beautiful status. This is Strawberry Bank.